Right guys, before we get into the woke joke that we have here, there is an announcement I should make. The channel now has its own website, independent from YouTube, that will be linked down below. It's still a work in progress, but there are groups and forums for viewers to chat with me and others in. There is already live streaming capabilities and much more, with many more things planning to be added as time goes on. You can check the link in the description and pin comment below if you want to go and check it out. Feedback on the website itself will also be helpful as I don't know what the fuck I'm doing half the time in all honesty in relation to this. But anyway, enough of all that. I know you lot personally don't like Twitter because most who use it actually don't. Me, I use it to shit talk people and get information from the few of you guys who actually use it and follow me there. This lunacy was actually sent to me by a couple of you guys and shows just how demented local councils are, especially those run by the Labour Party. This one relates to Norwich City Council and their virtue signalling bullshit pumped out a couple of days ago now. They tweeted about lighting up the City Hall in memory of George Floyd, the American criminal, Class A druggy and lefty hero the soy-infused tosspots drawled over last year. This all the day before the anniversaries of the Manchester attacks and Lee Rigby's murder. Naturally though, the internet has collectively shat on these idiotic fuckpigs with a ratio anyone could be proud of. At the time of recording it's showing 4,700 comments, 1,300 retweets and only 780 likes. That, I have to say, is a ratio and a half, especially on lefty Twitter. But in all honesty, is that surprising when the cringe-inducing tweet itself reads... City Hall will be lit up in yellow, pink and turquoise tomorrow evening to commemorate the first anniversary of the death of George Floyd and in remembrance of all black lives lost in the aftermath. Hashtag Black Lives Matter. <laughs> Now, that statement there is ludicrous just from the get-go. What the hell does George Floyd have to do with the colours yellow, pink and turquoise? Was he part of the LGBT community or something? Because I'm lost on that one. Secondly, Norwich City Council talking about something that happened thousands of miles away is literally just laughable. Then you have to factor in them talking about the black lives lost in the aftermath is even more hilarious. They do realise in the riots following the Floyd incident plenty of black people got killed by other black people who were rioting. You know, the rioters actually killed the people whose lives they said mattered. I mean, I would say that's such a stupid statement to make coming from people who support the BLM bullshit and the riots that followed, but let's be honest here, that's kind of what we expect from these tosspots. Now naturally, most of the comments on this post are actually talking about Lee Rigby and the Manchester bombing that Norwich City Council and most media outlets have completely ignored. I myself did not see the BBC mention it once on any broadcast TV shows yesterday, but to be honest I didn't watch them all so I could be wrong. Now myself, I actually waited for today to talk about it because I wanted to see if the media would actually pay tribute, you know, to those who've died at the hands of those who don't fit the white man bad narrative constantly spewed by the BBC. But as you can see in the comments on the post, it's literally full of people completely shitting on Norwich Shitty Council for their deranged and tone deaf virtue signal here. But in all honesty guys, this is the Labour Party of the working class, what more should we really expect?